It can often be difficult dealing with groups of children or young people. It's important to remember your role and that one of your primary responsibilities is to safeguard the children or young people you're teaching. And I wish I could fly high. I got nowhere else to run. Great guys, we're almost there. Hmm? Jake, definitely just saying the wrong note there. Get lost. What you can't hear? Tone deaf. Leave me alone. I don't know why they let you join here. I mean, you can't sing for peanuts. Shut up, Dean. Are you bothering Helen again? She sang the wrong note. Way off she was, and. And her wrong notes are putting me off. That's not true! Ignore him, Helen. I'd have heard if it had been wrong. You, just sit down and play. I don't have to do anything just because you say so. Really? You can't tell me what to do. Sit! <sighs> Helen, you move to that mic. Right. Now, let's try that again. You too, Dean. Hmm? Okay, guys, on four. And I wish I could fly. I got nowhere else to run. John has dealt with the situation, but in a very unsatisfactory and unprofessional way. He shouldn't have used any kind of physical force with Dean. And most importantly of all, he hasn't dealt with the fundamental problem of Dean's bullying of Helen. If you ever find yourself in a situation like this, it's vital that you never use physical force to resolve the situation. You must report any incidents that take place during a lesson. In most cases, behaviour management training can help you to deal with situations like these. If you have any concerns about a child or young person, whether it involves bullying, abuse or anything else, you must always report these to the person responsible for child protection.